Hello and welcome to my video on my indoor carnivorous plants and a few of the other plants I have on this plant shelf I have here. I have a few lights set up on it and for my past videos basically know of everything else I have on here. Basically it's going to be mostly an update on my carnivorous plants on this shelf and then just a little update on the plants down there. So we'll start up here. So I'll we'll start in the back. My American pitcher plant is doing pretty good. My, you can see there's a bunch of new ones. So those are the ones that are more green that are showing up in there are the newer ones. And then we have my Dreaming Angel Nepenthe here. And these has two pitchers on it. This is my one of my newest plants along with my American pitcher plant my B-52 Venus Flytrap here. Those are my newest ones, but this one has two pitchers on it, and it's growing pretty well so far. And then over at my B-52 Venus Flytrap, there's a whole bunch of new little Venus Flytraps all over in there. There's a whole bunch of them popping up, so that's starting to take pretty well, and that's growing very well right there. Then we have my Torrental Sin Nepenthe, which is doing really good. This is the newest pitcher right here that just opened up. And then this is the pitcher before that one, and it is the biggest pitcher. That is a pretty big pitcher there, so I really enjoy that. And these pitchers will get quite a they'll get about I think three or four times bigger than they are now when the plant's fully grown which will probably be in about a year or two until it starts to grow full-sized pitchers. Otherwise, they're pretty nice size right now. And here's the generic Venus flytrap, and that's doing pretty good still. It's growing weird uh, traps, and I figured out that it's just doing that because as it grows, it'll keep on producing new traps, but those traps will be warped usually and won't really activate because uh, currently this thing has been overeating on fruit flies that it's been catching. So basically to counteract the overeating, it's just going to produce some faulty traps that just work for photosynthesis. So that's why some of these traps look a little weird right now. But eventually um, it will go back to normal in about... Yep, Probably about a couple months, they'll start producing normal tra traps again. But that's just because it was overeating. So it's doing pretty good otherwise. It's producing a whole bunch more right down there. Over here is my Nepenthe Jolly Twist. And I got a pretty nice sized trap right over here. Nice good sized pitcher. Got my newest pitcher is that one right down there. The next one is right there. And it's just producing new leaves and little tiny buds to start the pictures coming out. And this is doing very good. Um, uh, they're producing a new, most of my Nepenthes are producing a new pitcher about every two weeks. So that is very good for Nepenthes. So it's doing pretty good. Just right up here on my plant shelf. And then uh, they're sitting in a tray that has moss all over in it. It's just long fibrous fig to moss. And then that tray I usually fill, fill with about a quarter inch of water. And that moss is to keep it, keep that water from evaporating too quickly. So that's why that moss is in there. And this method, as you can see, is doing very, very well. Over here... We have my Australian pitcher plant, which is um, a call, which the people I've, I ordered it from they named it Daniela. Um, uh, so this is how, this is it right here, and those little tiny green ones that are popping up over there are new pitchers that's forming. The Australian pitcher plant is a very slow growing carnivorous plant. It's also a very rare one and prized by most carnivorous plant collectors. So I'm really excited about this one. I think it's definitely one of the coolest carnivorous plants I have. 
so that's doing very well right here and it's and I'm using another tree method for that but I'm just using a little tiny basically the cover that goes on the bottom of a of a normal pot and the reason why I have this separated from the others is because this one the container actually has to dry out in between waterings you don't always want this to be sitting in water constantly because this one is more likely to get root rot than the other carnivorous plants. So it's a little bit more delicate than those ones. All right, now here I, in this egg pod, I have a little tiny sundew that's doing very well. And then in these other ones, I have some more Venus flytraps. All these Venus flytraps that are in these egg pods, I started probably about two years ago in my dorm room in college. So, and then over here is my little bog garden that I have a bunch of sundews in. I just threw a bunch of random sundew seeds in there and just seeing what comes up. So you get this one down here. I don't know which, what any of these are. Um, so, just going to be generic sundews in here for now. Eventually I'll figure out the names for them. But here's what I currently have. Bunch of really nice sundews, and I did a little bit of trimming um, uh, to trim the moss down because the moss is actually outgrowing the sundews, and you really couldn't see any of them. <laughs> There's just way too much moss coming up in there. But they're doing pretty good, and then over here on this end. There's no new sundews yet, but I just planted those seeds probably a couple weeks ago. So it can take anywhere from a week to a couple of months for most carnivorous plant seeds to sprout. Um, and then I have some American pitcher plant seeds in the fridge right now. And those usually will sit in the fridge for about two months. And then I'll bring them out and then I'll plant those and we'll see if those grow. They need to go through a dormancy period before they'll actually sprout. So that's what I'm doing right there. And that those will turn into basically this kind of pitcher plant. But they'll be a different kind. So this genus so it's American pitcher plants and then I also have some um, cobra lilies in there too so now we'll go down here and we have this succulent right here which a few weeks ago basically looked dead and I'm slowly bringing it back to life it's looking pretty good then we have my indoor pepper plants growing as slow as ever yeah, those ones I started the same as the ones outside, but these ones, because they're getting less light inside here, and they're still in very small pots, they're staying very small, so kind of fun just to watch these little pepper plants grow, so. Alright, and that is my indoor plant shelf. And if you liked these videos, please subscribe so you can see more. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Any tips you want to give me or any tips you want, leave them down in the comments. And I will answer them in next week's video. And again, please subscribe to stay up to date. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.